I'm going to show you uh, a process of converting a website that's static to a Drupal site. Uh, there is a, an importer called Import HTML Drupal Module, Import HTML, uh, that you can use to import a static site. It has to be on the same server and you have to have permissions and access to it. However, I found that most hosts that I've encountered do not have HTML tidy as part of their PHP setup so that it isn't really uh, working as easily or seamlessly as I'd like it to. And installing HTML tidy in a separate PHP 5 on my server doesn't seem like a very wise use of my time. So I tried initial import and you can see all these pages here. Uh, I didn't follow the instructions, I just kind of did a, a draft import to see what would happen and how close I am. And what I found is that because there are a lot of depth, there's a lot of depth to this site, it's got 500 uh, items in it, it wouldn't import them all at once. And it left placeholders in some places as you can see. But also uh, when it did get the right text content, uh, it also imported the, um, the the top, the header and the sidebar, which is this, into the same section of the page. And then the context and text was down below. So it, it, did, it did import it all, but it's, it's kind of a mess. So what I'm going to do is um, going to strip down a, DH, a regular static site, remove the templating information, and what I do is I'm starting by re um, re duplicating this whole site right here so that when I use Dreamweaver to strip it down it will not affect the live site. This other site that's live um, is being run off a private server and um, I'm using my custom DNS to get this um, page and obviously nobody else can see this. I don't want to touch the live site while I'm doing this. So as I call up uh, Dreamweaver, uh, this may take a second or two, I'm going to um, open up uh, the, a copy of this site, create a copy of my original site, and then take the template and strip it down till the bare minimum is showing. We'll see what happens. So uh, let's see what the manage sites and I want to duplicate this one I'm going to rename it add it okay I'm going to call it Drupal and I'm going to uh, choose a new home page for it and let's see websites so that's my core center and images will be in the same location. Now I've deleted a lot of things that aren't important, uh, but I do want to turn the servers off because I do not want to upload this to my active site. And Scholar's Corner copy done. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to strip it out the template areas of these of this and then update it. So let's open the template. This should be right this aren't local. Okay, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff in here. And I'm going to remove everything that's not essential to the site. That way I can uh, del delete uh, everything that's not going to be needed that will be added to the base of the Drupal site on its own. Oops, I don't want to do that. Okay. Obviously, I don't need a lot of this stuff. And 
So I have a very complex uh, template, and the reason of this for this is that I had to I imported older sites that had different template types in it. So details, if details, if there were details in it, if there were a table of contents, if there was a body one area instead of a text area. Uh, so all this stuff was available as a uh, a combination of an older site with multiple templates. So I'm going to update this. It's going to, should update all this site so that it has nothing but basic text. Okay. So, oh, I know. Nowhere. Because that's the... That's on the... That is on the um, sidebar which will be created So now I'm going to have a stripped down site. And let's see what I've got here. Just showing up the sample page. Now stripped out. It's got a background. None of that stuff's going to be important because we're going to remove uh, the CSS as well. So let's do that. Open up the template again. Okay, let's go to the code. And strip out all the styles. Strip out functions. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I need to keep. And this is the Google code, tracking code. I don't need that. And actually, I'm going to remove this as well because this footer I don't need. What is this? More tracking code, footer. Okay, let's look at the design. Save, update. 